guys, my name is Christina and welcome back to another video. Today I thought I'd take you guys along with me on a day of my life as an HR administrator and my mornings have been kind of busy recently. So I now, um, in the mornings, I usually take my time to clean up my emails, work with my team because we have our own um, tasks, to see what is assigned to me, what I need to focus on today. And then I handle all my new hire stuff, all my terminations in the morning, all my drug testing that needs to be done and make sure I have an idea of what needs to be focused today. So I have a few um, employee verifications to do today and so I've been, I like to use my phone as a calculator because if you make a mistake you could just go in and erase the calculation like the number and fix it without starting over. <laughs> so I prefer using my phone over um, an actual calculator, which I do have, but I just don't like it as much. <laughs> but yeah, so I did all my um, terminations and I cleaned up my emails. And so now I want to get some of these urgent employee verifications completed before I go ahead and look at my new hires <clears throat> for next week. Um, the ones for this week are pretty much done. So, yes, so far I'm ahead of the game and so far my to-do list for the day isn't as drastic. Um, <clears throat> I do have some chores around the house to do, but it's just like laundry and the kitchen needs to be cleaned. One verification takes me about 10 to 20 minutes to complete especially when the employee has like a lot going on in their pay slips so i'm just going to finish up these verifications go through some of my emails then i'll get back to you guys after breakfast <laughs> So it is currently 1.27. I have a daily meeting about to start in a few minutes. So I have to jump in onto that. Um, I haven't had much time to pick up the camera because work actually got pretty busy, which was quite a surprise because my Thursdays aren't usually this crazy. I'm gonna hop onto my meeting. I'm so tired. I haven't even had time to study. And I know some people have been asking me for like an update on my APHR exam. And no, I haven't taken it yet. I just don't have the time and I don't want to take the exam and spend all that money on the exam and application if I don't feel ready for it. I would like to take it um, sometime this spring, but I just haven't had any motivation to study and I feel a little overwhelmed by it because it's $100 for the application and then it's $300 for the exam. and that's a lot of money it's four hundred dollars and if you fail you don't get that money back and i know a lot of my friends who have taken it did not pass the first or second time and that just terrifies me it just terrifies me and it doesn't motivate me to take the exam sooner so i don't know i have the index cards right here i have unit one and unit two and i took out the cards that i am familiar with so I can only focus on the ones that I'm not familiar with. So I've been picking up the cards here and there, but not very often. Yeah, it's just, it's been, it's been rough and I don't feel prepared. And when I take the practice exams, I don't really get the scores I thought I would. And it's like, I don't know, <laughs> it's overwhelming and it's, I thought, oh, study, you know, study, take the test. It's no big deal. But no, it is a very hard test for some of us, especially those like myself who are not very good with testing. Like I can study the material like crazy and I feel like I know it. But then when I take the test, everything I study just goes out, out, out of my ear, like out the door. It's gone. I, I'm just not a very good tester and... Like, I know if I pass, I think my company will reimburse me the money, but if I don't pass, 
that 400 bucks goes out the door and it's like i could have used that for other things that i need like paying off debt or fixing up my home so i don't know i'm gonna try my hardest to study for the next couple months and see how it goes i did get a coupon for 75 dollars off the exam fee but i might do that and just schedule it for like the summer so then i have the time to study or something like if you are currently taking the APHR exam or one of the HR exams, please let me know what you what you did to study and pass if you passed. Like, give me some advice and tips. I'd love to hear it from you. And yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> and I'm done with work so I get off of work at 4 45 so um I turned off all my computers and I closed them for the day and I'm gonna go downstairs and watch some tv and relax and then my husband and I are gonna start to have dinner so today was a pretty slow day I kind of wish I vlogged on a busier day um but today was pretty slow all I had was emails one phone call and one meeting so not much to it. I managed to call, get everything crossed off my to-do list for today, which I am really proud of. So over here I have my work set up. I like to have a glass of water with me, and then I have a pad to take notes, which I often do. I think I go through these like every month in my work computer. Then over here I have my gaming setup. I don't game or anything during work because I just can't do that but I do have like sometimes I have like um, a YouTube video or some music running while I'm working because it helps me focus so I'm done with work I'm so happy because I'm so tired and I'm gonna go watch some TV to relax <laughs> 